phone is picking up the colors to do the sky justice right now, but it looks beautiful. I'm technically going to arrive only a couple minutes before official sunrise, so I'm not sure how productive that's going to be, but it's still a beautiful morning, so I'm excited. Are you guys seeing this? Ugh. Trees and cotton candy skies. So beautiful. I really love it up here. Definitely planning on a return trip because there's a few places like Wakala Springs that I'm just not going to get to this time around. So um, there's definitely a few more places around here that I want to check out and um, really spend some more time at St. Mark's during migration and stuff. So I'll definitely be back probably this fall or winter or spring or all of the above. We'll see. But man, those skies. I just had to come back on to show those to you again. I really hope that they look okay on this phone. drive super slow but now there's somebody behind me again so I have to go the speed limit darn it I um, it's gorgeous out here I haven't come to any stops yet I think there's one up ahead finally I'm looking for East Pool 
hopefully I didn't pass it. We shall see. It's very pretty though. Okay, we found it, but there's somebody out there, so I'm not going to bring this. I'm just going to bring my camera for a little bit and my binoculars to see if I can spot Pinky. It is absolutely beautiful here, and you guys, I saw the flamingo. I'm gonna insert the crappiest picture you've ever seen in your life <laughs> in a minute, but I did see it, and you can tell that's what it is, kind of, sort of, so I'm gonna show you. Now we're gonna head to the lighthouse pool and just see if there's anything going on there. I don't know if you can see it hopping out there, but there's a little bunny rabbit that's close, slowly coming closer and closer. I'm hoping it gets close enough that I can just roll down the window and take pictures of it. <laughs> I just got done making my coffee and I have a lovely view. I'm getting ready to get back out there and enjoy. But I want to stalk this bunny a little bit longer and see if it comes closer first. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh. Do you know what I did yesterday when I was setting up my clan? Note to self, remove rings. My elephant's tusk ripped a hole in my screen. I'm so irked with myself. It was totally my fault. It was totally preventable and so ridiculous. I mean, yeah, I have the privacy panel over it, so it's not the end of the world, but it's so annoying to have something nice like that that you really enjoy and then to 
mess it up yourself. Ay, ay, ay. Anyways, lesson learned, like I said. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm in a really big hurry to get back to the state park because it's already kind of clouding up and the forecast is showing rain from like 2 p.m. to like at least 6 p.m. And while that's the hot, icky part of the day anyways, and I was planning on doing some editing and getting caught up there and hopefully uploading, um, I still don't want to, you know, miss out on all of my time to explore until right before sunset again. So I'm hoping I get back um, early enough this morning that I'll have a couple hours to kind of wander and maybe find my new friend again um, before it starts to rain. And then once it starts raining, that'll give me an excuse to sit and edit and read and do my forced relaxation. So I hope you guys are not hating this vlog. I know I'm being so chatty compared to normal. And it's basically just been me talking a whole bunch so far. Apparently I got a lot to say. But I have been struggling a lot lately. I am, since I started my channel, I was proud of the fact that I had not missed one week. In a quarter mile, turn left onto US 98 West. stress that I had been going through since this past fall, which I will probably get into some of with a um, about me kind of video soon, just to kind of let you know a little bit about my backstory and why I'm doing what I'm doing and kind of what I've gone through that led me to this point when it did and all of that. Um, but before I get into a whole other tangent today, and that is definitely for another day, um, I guess I, I guess I'm trying to just basically say that I was super proud of the fact that when I started my channel back at the end of December, I, which I can't believe I'm almost at my six month mark, I um, had not missed one single week of uploads. At least every Wednesday, I uploaded a video. Maybe more, but at least Wednesday, I uploaded one. Regardless of what I was going through. And to be honest, these last few weeks, I haven't necessarily been going through anything more difficult than that. I've just been kind of trying to get my head back on straight and focus on my health and stuff, but my head just has not been in editing, so I have all these videos that I have taking up space on my phone, and um, I'm, I am actually having to keep deleting, you know, different things because I'm running out of room, and I, I am. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm looking right now to see, oh my God, I'm already running out of space and I had other videos planned for this week. So, <laughs> anywho, that's my motivation to edit today. But I do want to promise you guys, for those of you that have been sticking around, that I am going to get back into the once a week. Um, it's really just been kind of an edit block temporarily but I am going to do that at least once a week. I would like to do twice a week when I can, but I'm definitely gonna start giving myself a bit of a break. Um, so with that being said, if you're new here, you can expect videos every Wednesday like I have been uploading and then potentially one or two other videos a week as well, um, if and when I have them, so. All right, I've done enough blabbing. Um, this is a 
pretty boring drive right now, which I'm happy with because that means, knock on wood, there's no traffic and hopefully it'll stay that way till I get back to my park. Mm. Why is instant Starbucks so good? It really is. All right, I'll see you back at camp. So I'm back at camp and if you can't tell, it is raining and it's supposed to rain for the next few hours or so I believe so I am gonna catch up on some editing hopefully get one more video edited at least maybe even film a video um, try to get some reading done I might even do some journaling or coloring. I really just want to take advantage of the rain and soak it up figuratively, not literally, <laughs> and just enjoy the view. I'm hoping that my little dear friend comes wandering into camp, but I doubt I'll get that lucky, so I'll just enjoy the weather for now. I like being able to keep my hatch open without it getting in the back, although I think I'm gonna have to close my side doors here now. Good morning, guys. It's a little after six. I just took off my front window cover. I mean, my back window cover. I'm a little so air pissed out. You can see the sun's not up yet. I was so tired last night after I ate dinner. I was watching the sunset. And I fell asleep before I could put my back window cover in and my side window cover in. <sighs> so I had to, and when I woke up at like 2 a.m. I realized, and then of course I had to pee, so I just used the toilet in here after I put the rest of the window covers up. And then, and that was it. Went back to sleep. Now I'm mustering the energy to keep moving or get moving so I can make some coffee. As you can see, I talk a lot of nonsense when I first wake up. <sighs> you guys can see me yet. Hi. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see the whole bed or not, um, but I, gotten a lot of requests for how I'm able to sleep on my third row so I just wanted to demonstrate as you can see my legs are stretched all the way out and my head is all the way back I'm just on a slight incline on my pillows but I'm very comfy this way as you can see view when I want to. If I want, I can also sleep on my side. Although normally I just prefer to stretch out on my back. But as you can see, this is how I'm able to sleep in here and I really am really comfortable. Um, <clears throat> anyways, I am all dressed for the day and it is definitely time to make coffee but I just wanted to I know I showed it before on one video briefly but I've gotten a lot of questions about how I could possibly sleep um, on the third row like that so I just wanted to do a quick demo but now we're gonna get to the most important thing of the morning which is coffee because I am so tired today you would think falling asleep at 8 p.m. <laughs> last night, I wouldn't be, but I am. So, <clears throat> I definitely think I caught up on my rest and relaxation, which was the purpose of this trip. And I saw my white squirrels, my piebald doe, and the wild flamingo, although I don't know if you'll be able to tell it's a flamingo when I show you my blurry blob if I haven't already, but it is. So, mission accomplished all the way around. 
I am going to be heading out of here pretty early this morning since I have a long drive back and I'm getting my kiddos back today for the weekend. So I keep looking over here because that's where my AeroPress setup is. I'm going to go ahead and get that all together, get my coffee brewing, and then um, start this lazy morning packing up. My clam got... Oh, I'm going to definitely have to start staking it down even when I don't think there's going to be any bad weather because um, <clears throat> during one of the normal just rainstorms yesterday, a huge gust of wind came out of nowhere and flipped it up into the air onto my van and if I hadn't have been here, who knows where it would have ended up. So normally it's really sturdy when it's just normal breeze and rain but this gust um, just kind of took it so I went ahead and collapsed it last night and it's probably still pretty wet so I'm going to try to dry it off as best I can and get it packed up um, and just load that in on the rugs right before I leave so that it doesn't get anything messy and then when I get home um, to my home base, I am going to just pop it back up and let it air out in the sunshine on the back patio <clears throat> so that it can finish drying out. I honestly probably didn't even need it, even though it was so buggy. I didn't spend a lot of time at my campsite this week, um, so I probably would have been fine in here with just the netting for when I was hanging out, but I do like having it as an option. I'm just mad at myself that with between my ring tearing a hole in it and then getting it all wet, it probably would have been better this time if I had just not used it. But, oh well, it'll definitely come in handy this summer when I need to get out of the heat and be in the shade and spring. I don't even know what I'm blabbing about anymore, so I'm going to shut the heck up and get to making coffee. there but there's water fountains dishwashing station I haven't really even showed you guys my site. You see it comes with hookups, picnic bench, fire ring, water. I should have hung my things up on that to dry. This is where I was watching the deer graze last night. Really pretty campsite. There's only like, um, <clears throat> I think, 30 spaces all together. And then the river's down that way. One of the celebrity squirrels wanted to stop by to say hello since I didn't get any on video yesterday. Are they not the cutest little things? 
I'm gonna insert some photos I took yesterday, but I just think they're the cutest little guys. Hello. Are you coming to show off? Or are you begging for food again? Yes, you're very cute. What are you doing? Are you gonna try to stow away in my tent? Excuse me. I don't have anything for you. All right, my friends, we are leaving camp. Unfortunately, bringing a few mosquitoes with us that snuck in while I was loading up. Um, but all in all, I really, really enjoyed it here. I definitely plan on camping here again. There's a campground literally right in front of St. Mark's called Newport Campground, I think, and that's initially where I was gonna stay but I really wanted a chance at seeing the white squirrels and the piebald doe here. So that really was my whole reason for deciding to go further and um, drive like 45 minutes out of my way to see that instead. So um, I would have to say that that was the right call. And I am so actually, whoops, let me pull over here real quick and stop at the dumpster real fast. One moment, please. Okay, my friends, back on the road. And as I was saying, like always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it wasn't my standard vlog, but I don't think I really have a standard vlog yet. I'm still kind of trying to figure things out and see what works best for me and try to overcome my fear of filming myself in the process so I just apparently decided that this would be a good time to talk all of your ears off so if you're new <laughs> um check out some of my other adventures I'm not quite so blabby in those and I also do lots of videos on tips for traveling living sleeping and camping in your vehicle oh there's some more deer bye deer so if that sounds like it's right up your alley, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. If you did like this video and you don't mind hearing me blab, give me a thumbs up and let me know. I might do more blabbing in the future, <laughs> more story times. So um, again, thanks a lot and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye guys.